Bremen. With more than 1200 years of history, it's a major cultural and economic hub of northern Germany. It's home to almost 570.000 inhabitants and the 11th largest city of Germany. Hi, I am Martijn and your guide in Bremen. After watching this Bremen travel guide, you know a lot about this city to get the most out of your trip. From the old center to the best place to chill on a nice day and these old houses. I don't like to ask, but please like and subscribe. It's the only way to grow on YouTube and to make new videos in the future. Girl, every time I close my eyes, I see your smile in the morning light. The most easy way to travel to the city is by car, plane or train. Bremen Airport isn't big and there are some European routes. The airport is located 3.5 kilometers outside the city center. You can catch tram number 6 just outside the terminal. And the tram leaves every 10 minutes and a single journey costs around 3 euros. When you travel by train you arrive here at the central station, the Hauptbahnhof. And this is also the city center. In a moment you know the best place to chill on a beautiful day like today, but first the old center. And this area around the Marktplatz is beautiful. Over here you find the cathedral, the city hall and the church of Our Lady. This St. Peter's Cathedral has a long history of 1200 years. An early Gothic style from the first half of the 13th century. The two towers are 89 meters high and normally you can climb to the top of the south tower but because of Covid it's closed at the moment. And I was surprised because there was no entrance fee to enter the church. This is certainly one of the most beautiful buildings in Germany and maybe in Europe, the City Hall. It became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2005. Beside the City Hall you can visit the Church of Our Lady. And of course, there are many possibilities to sit down for a drink. Close to the Marktplatz you have a 100 meter long street, the Butcherstrasse. And this street was rescued from the Lepralation by an architectural project in the 1920s. The outcome of this project is a line of beautiful buildings and courtyards in what is known as the Brick Expressionism style. They use different style of architectures as you can see and the whole street is protected and owned by a single foundation. In the buildings you find stores, restaurants, galleries and museums. It's the end of March and today it's 18 degrees and sunny. It's hot for this time of the year. So it was easy to find a place to sit in the sun and relax at the end of the day. Maybe with your friends, having a drink or something else. I went to the Weser, that's the river over here. And this is the old port, the harbor of Bremen. They changed it to a pedestrian zone between the 1980s and 1990s. They restored the houses and they made this beautiful promenade. I found it a really nice spot to sit at the end of the day in one of the restaurants, maybe the beer garden or just beside the water between the locals. And the German name for this part is Slachten. In a moment you know the hippest district in town, but first the oldest neighborhood over here, Snor. And this area was one of the poorest in the past and home to the fishing community. Over here you find beautiful timber framed houses from the 1400s to 1500s. Baby, you set my soul on fire. Nowadays occupied by bars, restaurants and shops. And every evening, ooh, and maybe we can't get any higher. But if you like to take a ride, we can discover what we're hiding. Best time to visit Bremen. In my opinion, the summer because of the long days and the high temperatures. In a moment you know where you can find this iconic windmill. But first, the hippest district in town, Das Viertal, the Quarter. This area is the youngest and most colorful part of the city and built between the end of the 1800s and 1930. With a lot of beautiful buildings in neoclassic style and Jungenstil. By night this is the place to go for a drink, a dance or something else. 
During the day it's perfect to shop in one of the vintage stores, the boutiques for example. And a lot of family run businesses, so no chain stores. <sighs> I like it. This district, Das Viertal, is home to some of the best museums in town. And today I visit one of them and that's the Kunsthalle. And the entrance fee is around 10 euros. And this is a really top-notch art museum. Run by the private Bremen Art Society for almost 200 years. The collection is a complete overview of European art. From the 14th century till today. And yes, Bremen is a city with a windmill. I'm from the Netherlands, so actually for me it's normal to see windmills also in Amsterdam. But it's always nice to see some windmills abroad. This one is from 1898, but the original one, which was built before that, was from 1699. It's a real landmark of Bremen. At the moment there is a restaurant inside the windmill, so a perfect place for a coffee. Bremen has a big and a nice park to run, walk or watch some small animals. Burger Park. The southern entrance of the park is moments away from the Hauptbahnhof, and I walked it in only 10 minutes. What begins as a narrow strip of lawns and trees in the city center eventually broadens into a 200 hectare park. Dear yeah, Fafamsa, thank you so much for you like this video about Bremen. And if you don't want to miss any other episodes, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free and it enriches your view on the whole world. Tot ziens, ciao, hasta luego.